folks, Rachel here, and today I want you to meet Cooter. He is the newest member of the Casa Parker Menagerie. You can also see his sisters running around here. And, you know, we adopted Cooter. He is a rescue who came into our lives a few weeks ago. And just this morning, I was thinking about that experience. Yep, here are the others. And, um... I was thinking about that experience of, of bringing him in and adopting him and what that experience has to teach us as content marketers. And I wanted to share that with you today. And here's Sister Sophie to help me tell the story. So it all started when my husband Mike was out running errands one Saturday and he missed his exit on the interstate. He was supposed to head down to our local pet shop to get some supplies for these two and he missed his exit. So instead of making you turn he just kept going because he knew there was another pet store further down the interstate so he walked into this pet store that we don't usually go to and he's running around getting stuff and all of a sudden out of nowhere he hears this beagle howl and if you know anything about beagles you know they have a very distinctive howl that is unmistakable now mike grew up with beagles the whole time he was growing up. I grew up with beagles. We had a beagle for the first 15 years of our marriage and we have another beagle, Hermione, whom you also see running around here. So we are big beagle fans. So he when, he when he heard that beagle howl, he knew he had to run over and see where it was coming from. Well, turns out at that pet shop, they were having adoptions that day. So he, when he went to investigate the beagle howl, he found Cooter who is playing with his sister right now, but he found Cooter in one of the kennels and started talking to one of the ladies, learned a little bit more about his story, and immediately ran home, picked me up, brought me out, and then the two of us talked to the ladies a little bit more, learned a little bit more about his story. We had, we had the opportunity to take him for a walk on a leash. We had the opportunity to play with him just one-on-one, -on -one. and then before I knew it, we were bringing home dog number three to the the Parker household. So what does this have to do with content marketing? I think it illustrates three very important principles. Number one, it illustrates the power of resonance. There were probably 75 dogs at that adoption event, and they were all barking and yipping and yowling and howling and making all their noises. But when Mike heard that beagle howl that struck a chord in him because that beagle howl represented something that is near and dear to his heart he knew there was a beagle out there and that's what that's what our message does for our ideal clients you know people say oh Rachel there are so many blogs out there there are so many e-newsletters what how can I even make a dent in all of that you know how am I gonna make my voice heard and my answer to that is if you have a message that resonates with what your clients and prospects are listening for, then yes, you will make a difference. You will get their attention. They will lean in and hear what you have to say. The second thing it illustrates is the power of storytelling. As Mike and I talked to these ladies from the rescue, we learned a little bit more about Cooter. We learned about the time that he dug his way out of his foster mom's yard because her neighbors had a swimming pool and he loves to splash around in swimming pools. We heard the story about the time he figured out how to roll down the window in the car so that he could stick his head out. And all those stories made him, you know, every story made him a little bit more than just another dog that needed a new family. It told us a lot about his personality, his character, and what he was like to have in your house. So as content marketers, we need to remember to be telling our stories constantly because those stories make us human. They establish connection and they make us memorable. And finally, it illustrates the power of experience. As soon as Mike and I walked into that store together, the lady he just handed us a leash, got Cooter out of his kennel and said, take him for a walk, see how he responds to other people, to other dogs. Um, we had the opportunity to take him back into a private room where it was just the two of us and him. We got to play with him, got to pet him, got to... Um, you know, feed him some treats and really have the experience of what it would be like to have him in our house. And as content marketers, we need to be offering the experience of our brands. You know, we have this habit, or, or with traditional marketing, I should say, we got into the practice of putting our brands in a glass case 
and we would tell people, hey, isn't this great? Isn't this wonderful? Wouldn't you like to have this? Give us some money and you can experience our brand. Well, these days it is completely flipped around. We need to let people experience our brands before we even come on with a marketing message. They need to get to know us. They need to see our brand. They need to touch it and taste it and smell it and and hear it before they will even think about listening to that marketing message. We need to let them experience us before we even think about asking them to get into a sales conversation conversation. So those are the three principles that adopting this guy, this this guy, there he is, <laughs> taking a nap because he's tired from playing so much, poor thing. Um, those are the three principles that this experience really brought home for me. The power of resonance, the power of storytelling, and the power of experience. So to you, my challenge today is make sure that you are incorporating those three principles into your content marketing each and every day. This is Rachel Parker with Resonance Content Marketing. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next week.